Hey, Colleen, do you have a second? I sure do, Andy. What's up? I've got somebody that's interested in seeing a Salesforce on-base integration. Can you show me a quick demo? Oh, absolutely. I always have it here handy. It's cloud to cloud, so it's really easy to show. Just give me a second. I'll pull it up. So we're in Salesforce and we're looking at the account for Plano, which is plastic. It's pretty simple. And the on-base components can really be inserted anywhere within the Salesforce screens. And I'm going to show you three main features today. Uh, the first is on-base documents presented in the Salesforce interface. The second is importing a document into OnBase directly from Salesforce. And then the third is processing an item through OnBase workflow. So let's get started. Well, first we see the documents tab here within our Plain Orch Plastics account. Now, for those of you, uh, you know, customers that speak OnBase, this is really just a custom query that showcases the different documents related to this account based on a keyword value. We can assort any of these columns in ascending or descending order or move them around. We could even filter them just to, let's say, approved documents. And we can pull up any one document and take a look at it. So this document is stored in OnBase. On the left, we see the OnBase keyword values. And now the document is stored in OnBase and surfaced in Salesforce. Our Salesforce user never needs to leave their Salesforce interface in order to view any of these OnBase documents. So we can take a look. Multiple file types can be presented here. We can scroll through the entire document and view it. You can actually make this full screen, skip around to different pages. Really easy and straightforward. So that's item number one. Of course, we can also search this entire list if it's really lengthy. Uh, the second item is that of importing a document into OnBase through the Salesforce application. So we want to import a new invoice into OnBase and kick off a, a payment process. So here is that invoice. We could even add an additional invoice. We could do multiple documents. Maybe we want to add some more files. Another way we could even drag and drop. We find our document. We do some document type selection. This is a non-PO based invoice. We enter our invoice number, additional details. And we've got our dollar amount and we can upload the invoice from Salesforce into OnBase. And this will take advantage of any keyword features that OnBase provides. So data sets, autofill keyword sets, masking, ensuring that required keywords are entered successfully and more. And then lastly is OnBase workflow. This was actually new in OnBase Foundation EP5, this capability. So now we have the ability to view workflow queues. Here we see a particular item in that workflow queue that relates to Plain Orange Plastics that maybe needs to be reviewed. Not only can we view the item, but most importantly, we can decision and approve that particular invoice and move it forward. So now we see that same invoice from Todd's Deli and it has moved on to the next queue. There's nothing more for it to do. And that in a nutshell is the on-base integration with Salesforce. We saw viewing documents. We then imported a new document into OnBase, and then lastly, process some items through OnBase workflow. Hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our free training resources. And make sure that you reach out if you have any questions that you'd like featured in an upcoming episode of The Question Corner.